So this is my review of Advanced Calculus by Robert Creighton Buck. And as the name suggests, this is definitely not for a beginner level like college calculus class. Uh, this is more for those who are ready to take real analysis at the undergraduate level. And if you're going to take like beginner calculus, like calculus 1, 2, and 3 at the college level, I definitely recommend another book like Calculus by James Stewart, which I've done a full review on in my channel. Now, in terms of the price of this book, this is a fairly expensive book. It's like 100 bucks on Amazon. And so I would definitely say that finding this book in a new or like new condition at a good price is pretty rare. So looking at the table of contents here, since this is an advanced calculus book, it's still talking about calculus. So a lot of the familiar concepts from uh, vector calculus, uh, calculus 1 and 2, they will show up in this book. So we have chapter 1, sets and functions, followed by continuity, differentiation. Then we move on to integration, series, all of which are covered uh, in calculus 1 and 2. And then uniform convergence. And then from chapter 7 to 8 and 9, this is mostly going to be about vector calculus or calculus of several variables. So differentiation of transforms, geometry analysis, and then uh, vector calculus, differential geometry. And chapter 10 on numerical methods, kind of like an extra chapter, it mainly talks about approximation methods. And you have the appendix, and then there are some hints and answers um, at the back of the book. Now, in terms of the layout of the book, um, every chapter starts with an introduction, just a short, brief explanation as to what the chapter is about. And then it goes on to the actual lecture itself, of course, with definitions, examples, um, and different theorems and lemmas. And then at the end of each section, there's definitely a handful of exercises. So what's good about this book is there's not just like five exercises at the end of each chapter. There's going to be upwards of 20, maybe even more sometimes, in each individual subsection of the book. And the exercises are a mix of computational and theoretical. And so the first couple would definitely be, or would generally be the easiest ones. And then the last would be, or the last couple of exercises would definitely be the hardest ones. Now, what makes this book a little bit difficult to read sometimes is that it switches at times from calculus on just R, the real numbers, to calculus on Rn. So, for example, the chapter on differentiation, it might start out on single variable differentiation, and then immediately in the next subsection, subsection 3.3, it jumps to derivatives for functions on Rn. So maybe if the author would have probably put a separate couple sections just on calculus on R, and then another couple sections, calculus on Rn, that could have been a little bit better or a little bit easier to read, a little bit easier to comprehend. So overall, this book is very comprehensive in the sense that it will teach you almost everything, if not everything, you'll need to know before or to get ready for a class on real analysis of a single variable or real analysis of several variables. Now, personally, this book may not have been as easy to read as something like understanding analysis. Um, and I found myself having to read portions of this book like over and over again just to barely understand what it was trying to say. But at the end of the day, as long as you put in the effort, you can always learn a lot of things from this book. And that's all I have for this review. Thank you for watching.